so yes baby i know that was my that's my you know just basic simple get you know luxury kind of get undressed with me get i'm ready with me um slash get ready for the nighttime life for me at home so i just like to put something on super comfortable so i have on a my padding sorry it's a little off the padding is a little i think this is getting a little too big for me i probably need to adjust the straps actually the more i think about it um but i just have on a basic two-piece well it's not basic because you know we're not basic over here but you know what i'm saying I have on a simple luxury little two-piece velvet. Um, even though it's starting to get hot out, I still keep my house at a fairly cool temperature because, you know, if AC's off too long, I'll get hot. So I literally am getting another um, electric wine opener because the cork is stuck in here and I've had this like wine opener for a long time and for whatever reason I just keep trying to get the cork out and I can't get the cork out with this so I'm just not understanding why it's so tough and I'm sick of the manual labor that I have to put in and try to open my wine but I've left this in here for like the last couple days because I have not been able to get it out which is really weird because I've been able to get them out I got so frustrated today trying to get it out in the kitchen because I wanted it so bad and I still can't get it open and I don't want to run the risk of like um, like cutting myself or anything, but I was trying so hard, y'all. I probably will still keep doing this tonight, if I should be quite frank with you. I probably will still keep doing this tonight because I want this wine. I want this wine, and I was just trying. And I'm like, let me try it again. Maybe on, maybe if I do it on camera, maybe y'all can help me get it out or something. You know what I mean? Like maybe something could shake. Let's see. Mm. Ain't nothing shaking, sis. It's still we in the same predicament nothing shaking it's so like i'm so stressed out i'm gonna let it go though i have a protein shake that i'm making right now so i put i don't have any dairy-free um, yogurts at the house so i just put a little bit of my dairy creamer and i know it's kind of cooled up and then i have bananas in here so i put this in the freezer back in the freezer while i was taking a shower now i'm about to add my protein my vegan collagen my cacao so i can have like more of a chocolatey flavor sometimes when i have my vegan vanilla flavor it's fun i like it but lately i've been wanting like a chocolate taste and cacao is really good for that and then also you know i have options so that's what i'm about to continue to make um really quickly part of my nighttime routine i got a lot going on i need to write out some goals i have a long day ahead of me tomorrow um it's just a lot so let me make this real quick and then i'll talk to y'all a little bit more so just 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 bear with me Okay, y'all, so honestly, I like to, if my, I stir it up just to make sure all the supplements and stuff in my protein shake are, it tastes good, but I want it to be a little bit colder. So I'm going to put it in the freezer because I'm not in a rush to drink this at all. Um, I'm going to put it back in the freezer. Um, 
So I look forward to having that, like, especially at nighttime when I want to wind down and I want a sweet treat, but I want something healthy. So pretty much I'm going to wipe down the blender, put that back up. But that's my protein shake for the night. Like I said, I got some goals to set, but I also have a really long day tomorrow. Um, this is a realistic routine. I know that it's been a minute since I posted a video. It's been about a week. And thank you all if you still come back to my channel. I'm still trying to get things in place. I know that I'm here and there with videos. I know I do get people saying, hey, I like this topic or hey, can we talk about this? I'm not ignoring the, the um, comments or the topics choices or anything like that. I'm just trying to get back to an organized place when it comes down to my YouTube and just my life in general. I just feel like my um, to-do list compared to my energy level has not been compatible. I've had more to do than my energy has allowed for and I'm just trying to do everything that I can to make sure I stay on track with everything that I have going on in my life. Um, so as far as videos and stuff like that, continue to keep looking out for luxury videos for me. You guys know we talk about beauty, fashion, business, lifestyle, real estate, entrepreneurship, you know, all things Curly's of Victoria, all things luxury. If you are wanting to keep up with my journey outside of YouTube, maybe you don't see me on YouTube or maybe you see me on social media, but you don't see me on, you know, YouTube or vice versa, then you might want to follow me at Craylisa Victoria. So my social media is just about all have my name in them with the exception of a couple of my channels. So for more inspiration on being the girl boss that you are being the girl boss, boss that you are nurturing, go follow Rich Girls Plan, which hopefully I'll remember to put it on the screen. If I don't, everything will be in the description box below. Rich Girls Plan, plan is about um, financial literacy. It's literally about becoming more than you were the day before. It's about gradual daily success rather than um, arriving at a point in time overnight. It literally is super edifying and if you want something that's going to keep you motivated you're going to want to go follow those pages i am trying to do a better job at making sure that content is produced on a regular basis on those uh, media sites because i do believe that there are women who watch i first of all let's just be clear the most um my channel is predominantly watched by women and the age bracket is typically from that 25 years of age all the way up until about you know um 60s 50s whatever so i have really like a mature audience who watches me and men as well thank you so much for tuning in but i have literally like 25 and up watching me which is perfect because i think that i'm a prime example of you know someone who's trying to get their life together and people look at you and they think oh, you got it together, oh, da 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 Everybody's goal of becoming more is not the same as another person. So you can look at me and say, oh, well, that's exactly where I want to be and that's it. Whereas I'm looking at myself saying there's more potential, there's more within me that I can do, there's more within me that I want to do to be more successful, and that's what I'm going to do. So I think I'm very transparent um, and, in a sense, allow people to vicariously live through my channel of becoming greater. Um so yeah my channel is super inspirational it's for impact and i've pretty much and i know this is kind of just like a random chat but i just remember i don't know what your religious belief is you guys know that i don't talk much religion on my channel um so simply because i'm not here to deter you from what you believe nor make you believe what i believe but as a christian young woman i used to pray all the time for God to enlarge my territory and to expand, you know, my vision. And over time, I've seen those things happen. But also in the midst of them happening, I've seen growth within myself. And I used to say, you know, obviously, when I had an opportunity to inspire an individual, I would take that opportunity. And I used to say, well, how can I expand you know myself even more outside of being able to be asked can you be on this panel discussion board or can you you know reach somebody on an individual basis what more can i do and i remember just it light bulb coming on my youtube channel was the perfect platform um i started my channel about six years ago five six years ago and i actually my channel was created when there were some super dope uh small time youtubers who also acted and who were 
literally like more on that oh let's do youtube you know youtube has uh, youtube have um so many streams to get paid youtube have so many different opportunities to just put the content that you have in your head onto screen and for me at the time it's like i had a youtube channel but i was not on there mainly i was always working i was um in college and i was really enjoying a lot of life outside of media so for me i wasn't super like watching youtube videos every day i wasn't I wasn't spending a lot of my time on YouTube, you know, so to me, it wasn't like a, but I remember that being one of the perks of me getting the role to a movie, a small film that they were producing. That was one of the perks that I got to be when I was a part of that film. And it was like, you do the film, you do this part of your credit, part of your um, repayment for doing the film or doing, you know, is going to be, we will help you set your YouTube channel up, blah, 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 they. I got on my YouTube channel here and there. We started, I started out doing pranks, uh, a few pranks with the people who helped me the, start my channel. And I really still wasn't seeing the vision vision because I wasn't doing it all the time. I had other things really like going on. So here and there I would post videos on my channel, just regular random videos about anything. And then I would delete them because I didn't like them or I wouldn't be consistent or whatever. And it's crazy how over the last like year and a half, I set goals that I've overcome when I set the goals. And I I ended up keeping the channel, of course, but like I said, I deleted more videos than I kept and I just have random. So over time, I literally have, you know, established more onto my channel, but literally my channel is my life, basically. The life of Carlisa Victoria. I'm this woman who is proud of the woman she is, proud of the woman who she's becoming. I'm super grateful for who I am. And it's just a constant state of evolving, a constant state of becoming more, a constant state of being appreciative of the skin that I'm in. Um, just really letting women know that it's okay to be you. It's okay to be everything that you are and everything that you're becoming. I've never aspired to be anyone other than myself. I've been inspired by others, but I've never aspired to be anyone other than myself because I realize that the person that God has created, I'm a dope person. Like, you know, I'm really cool and I don't need anybody to validate that. But like, I know within myself that I literally am just full of life, you know, thankful, grateful for every day because I do know that life is short. Life is not promised to anyone. And because of that, I think that I just live my life in such a way that when I'm no longer here, it's left impact, it's left a difference. I wanna be able to leave this world and know that I made a difference. That's my biggest thing. I wanna be able to make a difference, leave legacy, create generational wealth, you know, educate those who are not educated. Um, because I realize that I can't take anything that I achieve in this world with me when I leave. So the best thing that I could do is leave a legacy, leave an impact, um, make someone understand that they are worth living. Sometimes I just sit and I think about like people who literally experience literally the barrel of depression. And I think about how in their moments of depression, I was on the receiving line being able to talk them out of situations, being able to let them know that your worth is, your worth it is far more greater for you to be here than for you to not. And sometimes I just think like people are really willing to share these situations that they're going through with little old me. And it speaks so much volume to me. It makes me realize that I am walking in my purpose. I am walking in my passions. I am being you know, vigilant. I am literally, you know, because sometimes people are not going to openly express what they're going through. You have to be able to have discernment or be, or be able to have heart to know that, Hey, I haven't heard from you. You okay? Or, Hey, I noticed that you've been posting a little off your game lately. Your posts have seemed to be a little depressing, not to, you know, knock you, but are you okay? I'm the type of person who treat other people like I want to be treated and I'm the type of person who read far beyond the lines. So because of that gift that I've been instilled with, I'm able to really meet people at the point in which they are going through the worst of the worst, all because I'm just vigilant, discernment and observant. You know, some people don't even care. Like y'all are liking posts when people are saying like, 
rather be in heaven than to be here. You know what I mean? I'm just making that up. But y'all are liking posts like that and continuing to scroll. Why don't you go back and read into the post and say, hey, shoot this person a DM, whether you know them or not. Hey, I read your post. I just want you to know that, you know, it's meant for you to be in this world. Da, 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 da. So stop being so brainwashed. And, well, not even the word brainwashed. Stop being so um, social media hungry that you're not really realizing the cries for help that you're passing by. If you're going to be on media, you need to be making an impact or you need to be noticing something that you can make an impact for. Um, I don't get on social media just to be like, oh, look at me. I'm very private. If it wasn't for me having my channel, my YouTube, and it wasn't for me promoting businesses, YouTube, Instagram, you probably never see me. Um, so, you know what I mean? The relationships that I have with people, the meaningful relationships, I have those in my phone. I have those in my life. I meet up, I have vacations, I talk to these individuals. I don't need to feel like following someone on social media or them following me on social media is going to dictate that level of relation that I have. Um, real relationships for me exist outside of social media because in the end of the day, that true support system that you're going to have, trust me, they'll be in your phone. Trust me, they'll check on you when something seems wrong. And don't be afraid at this stage of your life to let people go who don't fit the, fit the vision. Let people go who are not treating you the way that you treat them. I've had to let many people go recently over the last year. I'm not proud of that at all. I feel better, I do. Anytime you let go of dead weight, you're going to feel better. You know what I mean? But being a person who literally values their friendships, value their relationships and things like that, obviously I don't have 10 plus year, 10 plus year friendships with people just like out of the hat. You got, it takes a friend to be a friend, you know what I mean? So be that friend that people need, be that spouse, be that whatever. Um, because that's what's ultimately going to fuel that relationship. Relationships. And when I say relationships, I'm talking about friendships, associates. Well, main, mainly friendships. Uh, husband, wife, courting a boyfriend or a girlfriend, whatever. It's important that you understand that it takes two to tango. So it takes two people regardless to make something work. It takes two people um, to make it not work. So in the end of the day, you have to ask yourself, what's worth fighting for in those relationships if you get sick and you experience a lot of health issues etc cetera, etc cetera, and a person or people who you would do anything to make sure they're good don't reach out or don't even care to see how you're doing or whatever you need to ask yourself like what am i holding on to this for to say that i have a friend to say that i have an associate to say that we have history of knowing each other what is the reason that you hold on to the things that no longer serve you so I challenge you all to let go of what don't serve you. Let go of those toxic relationships. Let go of those toxic friendships. Let go of anything that don't serve you. Because at this stage of my life, and I'm sure at this stage of your life, being that I'm dealing with, like I said, a 25 year old and up type of audience on my channel, I'm pretty sure that you don't have time for just the malarkey. You literally are a person who are looking to have a peace of mind you're looking for your peace and your energy if anything interrupts your peace and your energy let go of it don't lose yourself trying to hold on to people who wouldn't care if they wouldn't lose you that's anywhere don't let people treat you outside of what you deserve to be treated um i hear people tell me all the time oh my gosh you really like candles and you have wine and you do these things your face wash um routine your skincare routine is really that extensive um i said yeah boo you don't have to do this stuff for a man or you don't have to do this for other people if you treat yourself a certain way don't allow anybody to treat you anything less than that um, I understand that people might not be on the same wave, you know, somebody might just throw water on their face, that's their face wash routine. Not to knock it, that's fine. But whatever you do for yourself, self-care is important. Always treat yourself, always do the most for yourself because you deserve it. That's with or without a spouse, that's with or without friends, that's with or without anything. Sis, you are bomb, period. 
So yeah, just be the best that you can be. Do what you want. This is your life. You have one of them. Live it to the fullest. Um, so like I said, I wasn't expecting to have this whole kitchen spew, but I just, you know, I kind of got to talking and I just felt like maybe this was what was needed to happen tonight on the channel. Um, just some motivation, you know, tomorrow's Monday. What are you doing for Monday? Motivation Monday, Millionaire Monday, you know, Billionaire Monday. Like, what are you, what are you going to be doing? Manifest Monday. What are you doing? Um, because the life that you want does exist. It's not going to happen overnight. Anything worth having doesn't come easy, easy, and anything worth having takes work. So whatever you want, you can have it. Just make sure you set goals to get it. And when you get it, make sure you're humble. Make sure you're thankful. Make sure you're grateful. Um, because at any moment, everything that you have can be snatched away from you. That's why you got to be careful how you treat other people careful at the people you laugh at and the situations in which they're in because that same situation could be you tomorrow so just be humble in everything that you do everything that you want you can have 2021 year of elevation no matter what and year of enlightenment elevate to separate this is the year of greatness so anything you want sis it exists you could have it just do the work Okay, so let me check on my little protein shake. I know I just gave y'all some, I just dropped some jewels. You're welcome. Oh, it's cold. Oh, I'm excited. Mm. Y'all, this is so good. And the crazy thing that just made me super excited is I don't have a non-dairy yogurt in here which means that I can make this protein shake without the non-dairy yogurt, substitute a little bit of my um, non-dairy creamer, and I almost feel like it tastes the same as when I have the non-dairy yogurt. And I mix water into here too. Girl. And of course the banana is keeping the texture. Girl, you do you know that just saved me money? When I think about it, my yogurts be like a dollar something a piece. Dollar seventy nine a piece, or I'll get them three for five, and I normally get them to go in my smoothies. Obviously, sometimes I'll make a smoothie bowl with that as the base, but when I'm not making smoothie bowls, I feel so much better now knowing that water and a little bit of my creamer alone, with the help of the banana and the proteins, powders and stuff like that is enough to give me the same vibe. This is some next bubble. Mm. Completely random, but if you want the ultimate smoothies, ultimate protein shakes, freeze your fruit. I keep saying this, freeze your bananas, freeze your fruit. When you freeze your fruit, not only does it keep the fruit flies away, baby, but that's going to give you a different taste on your protein shakes. That's why I don't have to add ice to my protein shakes because my fruit are already frozen. Therefore, it's going to come out a nice chill. And obviously, I was talking to y'all. I had time, so I threw it back in the freezer so it can be even colder. But your girl's about to get some work done, write out some goals. I think I'll bring y'all along while I write these goals out. And then I'm going to let y'all go. Just wanted to check in, nighttime routine, and just let y'all know what's going on. So stay tuned if y'all want to see your girl working on some stuff.